on Alan Wake. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. After saving my wife from the mysterious dark presence, I found myself trapped in the dark place. Imagination can be the enemy here. A nightmarish world that exists somewhere beyond the shores of our own existence. We're the one making all this happen. Just do what Zane tells you. Follow the signal. Is all this really coming out of my head? The dark place is playing tricks on you. I made my way across its ever-shifting landscape, trying to reach Thomas Zane. You're trapped in your own nightmares. You're still going deeper. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Really, Wake? Really? Your delusions are out of control. Get out of my head. Seriously, Al? You need to get a grip. You know reality's different here. See what I mean, Al? 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 Ugh. I think I'm stuck on this side. Well, you're gonna have to find your way out of there. I'll wait. But just remember, you're still in the dark place. You know that, right? I don't wanna alarm you, pal, but it's sink or swim time. Fine. I could feel the pressure mounting. Barry was right. Time was running out. Everything I saw was a dark, twisted version of reality based on my memories and thoughts. All right, the final special episode, The Writer. And back here with no weapons. Ah, oh, see. I gotta make the light swing to the gate. I had to accept it. If all of this was from my mind, then I was the one making all this happen. I was literally fighting myself. It was a moment of clarity. Surprise. Looks like a choice but to open this. I hate these stupid porter guys. I really do. I got revolver ammo, but no revolver. After finishing departure, I felt finished myself. All I had wanted was to save Alice. After that, a part of me had been ready to just give in and die. But I hadn't given up. 
Thomas Sane had reached me. I had run across a nightmarish landscape following a signal from him. He kept telling me I was sick, going too deep. I wasn't sure if he meant the dark place or insanity. Perhaps they were one and the same. I gotta go through the hedge maze. Now that's the second set of collectibles, which I don't need. Nuts, huh? Let's face it, we always knew this was coming. I guess, but I actually feel pretty rational, all things considered. Crazy people don't know they're crazy. That's where they're crazy. Hey, check out the light show behind the lodge. That's Zane's light. Yeah, you're done sinking now. That means he's just about caught up with you. You better go talk to him. Hmm. Before I do that, let's look around, make sure there's nothing I can grab. Now we're good. Lots of fireworks here. Nice. Wait, Murphy. Done. Play. Music came out all wrong. It attracted the horrors. Well, is in this grant. Get out of here. these pyrotechnics.
All right, that was close. You can get inside now, Al. The big guy busted down the door. No, I'm still be cautious and look for things. This damn cabin. The fuck was that? Oh fuck it, Poltergeist again. Whoa. See Al, this is classic you. Always making things complicated. This is just a memory. Even your memories are complicated. Uh yeah. So I guess you're gonna need to talk to Zane out there now that he's actually here. I'm just gonna, you know. Let you non-imaginary people talk in peace. You're not coming? Nah, that wasn't very much. Hey, you're moving up in the world, buddy. Zane. You have done well, Alan. Now I can accompany you. You are trapped in your own dream. You must wake yourself up, but first, you have to reach yourself. The cabin. Yes, my cabin. It will not be easy. Your previous work can help you. I still have some pages of your manuscript left. Words like that have power here. The word is clear, boat, rock. The lighthouse? It's very appropriate. I can help you reach it. But after that, you will be on your own. I cannot enter the cabin now. The Dark Presence made sure of that on our last encounter. You are facing yourself, the parts of your mind that are hard to control. This is not a fight anyone else can win for you. I was glad to have Zane with me in this place. He knew the terrain, such as it was. But a part of me wondered if he was even human anymore, after so many years in this place. Don't give me all that.
Ooh, that was my mistake. Shit! Hopefully we get out of this tornado segment soon. Oh crap, I'm dead. I thought another sequence was gonna happen. Okay. Now that I knew what I was facing, the environment became even wilder and stranger. Like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were normal. I'm sorry, there's definitely gonna be a fight coming up. They give me explosive barrels to work with. Perfect. All right, give me all the batteries and bullets. Checkpoint. Ah! Yeah, that's 
closer to words. Oh, nice. Ah, probably got to pop a flare down there. There you go. I got a bunch of flares now, so if I get pursued, I got a way to get them, get people off of me. Get a psychotic break. And I'm dead. Oh, sh shoot. Turn back. Now I can go.
up sanity. You're doing well. Keep going. It's hard to make sense of this place. It's a dream. This is a vast place. Home to forces and beings that are completely alien. The Dark Presence. Yes. I don't know what happened to it after your final encounter. Is there any way out of here? Sometimes transmissions can be sent between worlds. You've done this yourself. But to actually leave the dark place, I haven't found a way. Well, that's not good. Stucky's gas station. Not something I particularly wanted to see, but obviously I wasn't the one in the driver's seat. Another memory made real. Blake would never make it. The insanity he was facing was already a part of it. In him, his own doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to. At least the lighthouse was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow. God, I got a fight on my hands. Closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow. All right, there we go. Didn't mean to do that yet. To the light. There was no power to the long run. I gotta make a connection. While it's being pursued, no doubt. Oh, Jesus, I'm about to say, did I hear something?
And there's gonna be some assholes coming for me. Oh, guess not. Oh, give me a lot of hundred and four ammo. I don't need I don't need any shotgun. I need shotgun shells. I got a good suspicion we're like past the halfway point. Because the last episode wasn't even an hour. The part of you that is in control is in the cabin, dreaming and insane. I don't think I like that. You represent the part of our life that is capable of rational thought and planning, which is why I'm talking to you. If that part can regain control, then you have a chance of making it. But a part of you wants to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait, are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. So there are two of me? Yes. And the one you called Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? I am not the author of your story. How can you say that when you wrote that page about me and the clicker? It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was needed. And you needed the clicker. But I am not. What? I don't understand. Ellen, you should keep going. Zane? Zane, come on! Well? That cleared things up. Alright, so... Alan's mind is definitely fractured and split. Make sure there ain't no asshole on the bottom floor. Nope. Yep, you, you're gonna come to me. Wasting time. Goodbye. Yep, so Alan's mind is uh fractured. He's got like two split personalities going on. But Scratch it definitely isn't him. It was heralding the enemy's arrival. Wait, what leave this place alive? Ooh, shotgun ammo. Thank God I need this. Alright, so crumble. Crumble, crumble, boom. Alright, so I can knock out the bridge. Oh, shit. Oh, you fuckers are quick. I turned my back for one second. Come on. That's the big boy. I want the big boy over here. Come on. Ah, shit. This squad can just kite him over to the next one. Oh, 
Oh, you dick. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, never mind, I made it. A moment. I can help you here. the foolish mistake I made with Barbara. Man, these guys are merciless. They just drop out waves of enemies after me. Is over here. Oh, just a wall. Well, another collectible. Yeah, I'm not worried about these DLC trophies too much. If it's not connected to the platinum, then I don't care. Oh, ooh, ooh. old line on down there. Yeah, how do you guys feel about, like, the extra, like, DLC trophies for games and stuff? Oh, God. Nope. What the fuck? You dick! Where the... Jesus. Oh, no crows actually got me. Oh, these bastards are evil. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Since we're being so frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough, I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. 
All right. Well, let's start with the obvious. The car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I, I have had bad headaches. Then there's your history of substance abuse, which, combined with your chronic insomnia, has resulted in hallucinations and extremely poor impulse control. That's a dangerous combination, one which your wife has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. I know. I know she has. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that you are existing in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy casts you as a heroic victim and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In your self-serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Dr. Harmon, I... I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but, well, um... No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You put so much effort and imagination into this self -deception. Yeah, well, we all know what Hartman was saying. All this stuff ain't true. You refused my offer of help, and here you are. Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? Because he fully no. believed what was going on. Because he wanted that manuscript. Did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. Why don't we find out? You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted you to hear. Oh, hey. That sounds like fun. Uh, the tape recorder. All I ever wanted was to help you, Alan. I ate all the shit you handed out and tried to understand your pathetic, wealthy white male drama until my life consisted of managing your never-ending crisis. I hate you for your childish temper and the arrogance and self-indulgent pride that undermine all efforts to drag you out of the hole you insisted on digging for yourself. I hate you for leaving me in the dark with that insane monster bitch! All you had to do was act like a loving human being for once in your life and stay with me. If your dramatic exit hadn't been more important than making sure I was all right, she would never have taken me. I don't know where you went, but that's okay. I don't want to know. I don't think I'll ever be all right. The only thing that keeps me from killing myself is the hope that I'll never see you again. Ouch. I... I just can't argue with that. I think I should stay here before I ruin what life she has left. I think this is a breakthrough, Alan. I'm really very proud of you. What the hell? Well, granted, this is all in Alan's head, like... How much of this is like, tr like truth, and it was nonsense. I knew I had saved her. I'd succeeded in that, and that was all that mattered. What I heard in there wasn't the truth. It was just another toxic mirage. It cut deep, but that made me all the more determined to force myself to snap out of it. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I had to make myself see the light. See, but the problem is how much of that was like. Half truth, half lie. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I kind of hear how they designed the, the tool stuff. Trimmer. Let's look around a little bit more. There's another pathway, though. Oh, 
Alright, can't go back out that way. Yeah, how do you... Oh, no, that's the plane. Oh, no, it's back up, up the hill. I know there's supposed to be another path besides the plane we can take. Oh, if I can't find a hidden path. the moon and nothing but darkness below That's supposed to be where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I'm just exploring out the beaten path a bit. I mean, it's just a dang tunnel. All right, yeah, there's nothing in here. Yeah, this must be like some shortcut you can go that's not the plane. You know what? Give me a quick sec. Alright, so... I do that, but I stay... I, I stick to the left into a small cave. The typewriter was mocking me. I was supposed to be calling the shots, but for a long time, it had been the other way around. But I was it again in the end. I was the writer, and it was just a tail of my train. Cool. Just let me to a, a hand cash. Which is very Yeah, fuck that. you have constructed yeah well I think I can do that a lot of the stuff I've seen here is personal and ugly as hell I'll admit it hurts but it's not fooling me I know it's fake good you are aware the part of you bent on self-destruction is not but you must be careful just because you know the lies for what they are that doesn't make the danger any less real I'll make it I don't have any choice here 
I cannot come any further, but this will help you on your way. Thanks, I guess. Hey, let me tell you something, Alan. I know how your mind works. You screw up, then you start analyzing it, and before you know it, you start writing all these horror stories in your head. Don't you? Come on, I don't do that. <laughs> yes, you do. I know how it goes. You're a complete failure. I hate you and I'll never forgive you for whatever it was that you did. Am I wrong? Oh, man. See? I know you. But, Alan, it's all in your head. It is. I love you. And I'm not going anywhere. Go ahead and get a little closer to that. That helps. Cool. They kept coming. There were too many of them. Hordes and hordes of them. Swarming over the landscape. And this time they would get it with sheer numbers. Good luck get me when I got a giant searchlight. Oh, I didn't even need that flare. Who's behind me? Look, all y'all can follow me and have your dark souls filled with light. Oh, Jesus. Where am I going?
lighthouse. I was relieved to have made it here, but I wasn't sure what was going to happen now. Make sure there ain't no like hitting uh word caches nearby. This is where we had all the way back in uh chapter one. Zane had left me. I wasn't sure what the dark presence had done to him if he couldn't follow. But from now on, I was on my own. Still, he had gotten me this far. I would never have made it by myself. This thing was going to end. It wouldn't be long now. Dad probably messed him up bad, because he probably saved us when we got here. Only in the beginning. Return. Back to the cabin. I was surprised by the change of scenery, but not much. I was starting to understand the symbolism, the way the dark place flowed. Just seeing if anything's up this path real quick. Oh. That's probably the last one too. Yeah, if I got them all in order. here. What? So Zane's your new buddy now. I feel abandoned. This is ridiculous. You're not even real. That doesn't mean I don't have any feelings. Thing is, you need to get all rational in here. Abandon your fantasies, right? Well, I kind of hate to say this, pal, but I'm one. Fine, you're abandoned. Bye. Hmm. Al, what I'm saying is the only way you're getting in that cabin is through me. It's one of those kill you darlings things. But hell, you're used to that. Big shot, Ryder. Am I right? It was in everything. It was even taking a people Wakefield, turning his friends against him. They were all against him. All right, Jesus. What does it say about you? With this judgment to keep yourself from getting better. Here we go. I've earned another fifteen percent commission. Make your 
yourself an imaginary friend, and then you can't even get along with that guy. Equal skills, Al. You're a master. All right, grab all the stuff I need to grab. Let's crack that burner. Of damage. Get out of here. Grab the shotgun ammo out of the crate. Went off the cliff. Get me in here. Why is this happening to me? It's too dark. Where am I? I can't find my way. Why is this happening to me? Me. 
just like that, my mind was clear. Zane had been right. I could think clearly again. But I couldn't survive in this place the way he had, and I might not make it back a second time. Leaving this place would be hard. Maybe impossible. It wouldn't take much for my thoughts to stray again. It was too easy to get lost in the dark place. Before, I was ready to curl up and die. Let myself slip away. But here I was. The yet unwritten future waiting to unfold before me. A sequel to Departure. My name is Alan Wake. And I'm a writer. Hmm. <laughs> Return. All right, and a special feature too. All right. So that concludes all of Alan Wake entirely. So now Alan's writing a new story. So using his powers, he's gonna just probably make a new story to get himself out of the out of the uh the dark place. Alright, so I'm guessing all of the entirety of Island Wake 2 is going to probably take place in Bright Falls, just, just like this game. Ah, you know what, that's probably why there's a new protagonist with that, uh, that cop girl. So he's probably writing, a, writing the, the return story and having, like, someone else, an outside person, get him out. Uh, at least my theory. That's what I'm theorizing. But that clears up all of Alan Wake. And like I said, I I enjoyed this game. I definitely can't wait for the second part, which com which comes out in a few weeks. So in the meantime, I'm definitely gonna play Control to see what type of stuff. Uh, is reference and links into this but I'm gonna get on out of here so that's one game cleared out of uh, out of spooky season no because normally every spooky season I do at least like I try to do six games so we did Alan Wake so there's gonna be two more psychological thrillers I'm gonna do and then there's three sci-fi horror games or horror horror slash horror adjacent because the one I got on the lineup is technically not horror f per se but it's heavily inspired by a horror franchise but uh the, I'm working on it you'll, you'll, you'll see it when you see it but I'm gonna get on out of here so be safe Strive for greatness and take care of one another. I got the intro, I got the outro order mixed up, but you get the point. Catch you later.